this is a tutorial for Dext Science Set 4.1. Hi, in this video, we will apply what we learned in our simple pendulum video to build a setup known as the Newton's Cradle. We will use the compartment B4.2.1.1. You're going to need a few items that will enable us to build our Newton's Cradle. The first and most important are four marbles. We are going to use these marbles to enable us to build a setup similar to the pendulum but in a much more interesting way. You're going to need some corrugated cardboard. We need a pair of scissors. We need a pencil. And the compartment already has two double-sided tape. So the first thing we'll do will be to cut up our corrugated cardboard into the specific dimensions we need. We are going to create a rectangle of size 15 centimeters by 7 centimeters. It's helpful to have a nice edge on one side of your corrugated cardboard to help you do your measurement. Once you have your points, you roll a nice line joining them. So we have our 15 side now. We are now going to cut R7. Don't forget, we are making a rectangle of size 7 by 15. So now that we've measured 15, we need to measure 7. Just as we did earlier, we we'll create some points and later join those points with a line. Before we cut our rectangle, we need to do a few more measurements. We're going to measure 4.5 from the shorter part of our rectangle. After that 4.5, from that point, we'll measure 1.5. We are going to measure two more of such 1.5 dimensions. So we're going to have four points in all. We're going to do the same thing on the lower side of our rectangle. Again, 4.5. And this time around, we can do some quick math. We know that if we have 4.5 and we add 1.5, what dimension do we get? We are going to get 6. We can make, keep going 6.5, 7, 7.5 gives us another 1.5. And when we add another 1.5, we get 9. And so now we have all of our four points. Now we can rule a nice line between each of those points. 
So each pair of points will get a nice line joining them. Once we are done with this, we're just going to go ahead and cut it. So we cut our rectangle with a pair of scissors. Do not forget to have an adult present while you perform this activity. Now that we are done, we are going to cut some slits about one centimeter deep along the lines that we drew in our rectangle, just like this, and we do it on both sides. Good. Now we are done preparing our corrugated cardboard. We are going to get back to that later. We're going to do to our marbles just as we did whilst we built our pendulum. We're going to find a rough surface and create a rough portion on our marble. We create a point that is rough where we are going to stick our double-sided tape. We're going to do this for all four marbles. Create a rough point on the marble where we can attach our double-sided tape. Once you are done, you're going to need some strings. We're going to cut a string of length 15 centimeters. We're going to cut four of such strings with each marble having its own string. The next thing we're going to do is to cut some double-sided tape. We're going to cut three centimeters of double-sided tape. Again, we are going to cut four of these so that each marble will have some double-sided tape and a string. Once we are done with all of our double-sided tape, we are going to put the string into the double-sided tape as demonstrated. You put one end of the string across the double-sided tape along the short side, and then you place the other end of the string across from the opposite direction. Once you are done with that, you gently peel off the back of the double-sided tape. Then you crumple it gently and place it on the rough point on your marble. Press it to make sure it's firmly attached. Once you're done, you would have something that looks like this. Make sure it does not fall off when you give it a simple swing. We're going to do this for all four of our marble. And once we are done with this, we are going to place them on our corrugated cardboard. So remember the slits that we cut in the corrugated cardboard? 
each slit will have its own string and marble. Once you've placed the marble, you can adjust its height and position by moving the string up. Once they are in line, you can do this. We are going to go ahead and place all of the four marbles and adjust them such that their heights are the same and they are in line. Once you have that, you'll be able to create something that is really beautiful to watch. Go ahead and play with your Newton's Cradle. As always, this has been a tutorial using the Dex Science Set 4.1. See you in the next video.